Halo Infinite E3 news leaks. Now we're not talking about the information in those leaks, we're talking about the leaks themselves and how to spot the bad ones. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another video here. We're talking about the potential E3 leaks coming out. We're coming out pretty soon here for Halo Infinite as we're very close to that date of June 9th for the Microsoft press conference. And just an FYI guys, I will be doing a live stream of my reaction of the press conference for Microsoft, which it's guaranteed there will be Halo Infinite news there. So make sure to tap subscribe on the channel here. Also follow me over in the Twitch first link in the description down below. So keep you guys up to date whenever that stream goes live, which is gonna be June 9th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, so let's get right into this. Well, we have been seeing a lot of information going around the internet, talking about some information about well, Halo Infinite and some news leaks that are going about it. And pretty much everything I've seen so far is uh, rather suspicious. Now, we kind of dealt with this last year as well. As I reviewed some of my videos, there were some leaks going, talking about uh, Halo Genesis being the next Halo game. And that didn't really fall through too well. I mean, uh, some of the part, parts of it were true about like a new engine. And that's about it. <laughs> and for everything else, like I mentioned, like Warzone 2.0, a Halo 6 beta coming out that year, and all these other kind of things just didn't really happen. And so when you get super early into these leaks and information, things get kind of iffy. Now, when you get closer and closer to actual date of E3, things get a little more concrete. Uh, as and also last year, I, I reported on Halo Infinity being the new Halo game. And it was very close, actually, with Halo Infinite. And so right now, we're, since we're about a little over under two weeks away from E3, things might be kind of sketchy. And this is one of the posts why I'm thinking this is pretty sketchy. Now there is this post right here. Now I think do believe this is ripped off of 4chan looking at the format of the website. So obviously that's a little sketchy just by itself right there. And uh, just reading through this, I'm like, mm, I don't necessarily think that's going to be happening. Like in this post, I mentioned that this is going to be the final chapter with the Master Chief and truly an experience to remember for years to come. And I'm like, are we really going to have the last Master Chief game? Is that really going to happen? I mean, really? Really? Master Chief is like the Mario of uh, Microsoft Gaming. If you remove Master Chief, you're going to be losing a huge fan base right there. There already was enough of a backlash in Halo 5's campaign for only having three missions with Master Chief and I believe eight with Locke. And that was enough of a push back to where they're like, no, we need to make a Master Chief focused game. And they're going to be like, okay, this is going to be the last one. No more Master Chief after this. I'm like, that just logic just doesn't make sense. And then this next section talking about the villains that are going to be in it, saying that there's going to be a shady intelligence agency. Wink, wink. Another from a time before time. What? As I mean, my possibly pre precursors is what they would probably be referencing towards. What he's really excited about is ancient humans you'll be fighting against in here, against an ancient human general called Nuada, and he's kind of like a prehistoric Irish guy voiced by the magnificent Liam Neeson. Now, I don't believe Liam Neeson has done any kind of work when it comes to video game voice acting or really just voice acting as a whole. He's more of a you know, real life actor. And it's not absurd for Halo to get in some more celebrity names when it comes to voice acting. They definitely did that during Halo 2. Uh, but Liam Neeson, I think that's a bit of a stretch when it comes to that. And why would we be fighting humans when we're humans? It just doesn't make sense. And then this next section here, they're talking about how the storytelling is going to be. It's a Master Chief focus one, which was confirmed when they first mentioned Halo Infinite. But then it goes on saying they're going to have kind of like a uh, multiple choice kind of RPG kind of thing. But it's saying that ultimately it's linear, but then it's not. And your choices make a difference, but then they don't because it says right here, for example, the character may die in a certain situation because of your prior choices, but the canon ending may say they actually survived that certain event in the story, which makes it 
not make sense at all right there that literally just does not make sense why do you give people the option to have characters die in the game and then just be like no that didn't happen and also in this final section just says about how there may be some side missions you can do as kind of more open world kind of thing which that one i can actually believe when it comes to halo infinite from what just we saw of the infinite trailer we were seeing with halo infinite in the reveal trailer that kind of gave a big sense of scale openness which would make it much more like an open world kind of game Rumor has it that during the development of Halo 5, it was actually going to be an open world game where you play as Spartan Locke and then you're going to these different locations where Chief was and you play through the memories of Master Chief in these certain locations. Kind of similar how ODST was in that way. And so I can totally see something like that happening with Halo Infinite. And then he kind of you know, finishes off saying that uh, you know, we are proud of this game. We can't wait to properly unveil it to you. Saying that this is a 343 employee posting on 4chan revealing leaks of very odd leaks that don't literally don't make sense at times and so i would be very so suspicious about this kind of leaking obviously people just try and get some of those infinite story detail leaks and information for people to make clicky videos and so that's some of the stuff right here that you gotta keep an eye out for like yeah this doesn't make sense and here is another one for you and it's really oddly posted because it just says Halo Infinite leak at the top of it. I'm like, okay, that's pretty straightforward how they title your document right there. But anyway, so because most of the times when people are leaking information, they don't title it an actual leak. Now it actually starts off rather believable saying that it's gonna be an E3 trailer. It's gonna start with Master Chief. He's gonna be looking over the different armor sets that he's had throughout the years and he can't quite decide. Then there's a knock on the door. It's Sergeant Johnson. Chief asks how he survived. Johnson responds, doesn't matter as he slams the switch, revealing the brand new suit of Mjolnir armor. Pick this one. Perspective switches to the first person as Chief suits up and an alarm sounds. It's Cortana. She's found the infinity. Last he comes over the comms telling Chief there's a new halo and he knows the drill. Entering an ODST pod, a quick time sequence appears. You have to press buttons in time like Guitar Hero. Whoa. Hold up there, like Guitar Hero? To successfully shut the door, the pod drops to Earth. The ring is overrun with a bunch of mini Spartans. Cortana held by grunts create their own Mjolnir armor. They're fast and deadly. Chief is instantly slayed as a grunt proclaims, I'm gonna bite his kneecaps off. And so yeah, it started out rather believable and then became a complete joke. And you know why? Because it is a joke, because it's from our good buddy Green School on Twitter, just fishing for leaks, you know, just fishing for clicks. The guy get people to say, have a good laugh over some infinite leaks, saying, I won't reveal my sources, but I have word that this is what we'll see from Halo at E3. And I'm like, okay, yeah, once you read that second half, you're like, okay, that's funny. But then the biggest face palm of them all. This was actually ran as a news article on a web page, on a website. No joke, no joke. I'm not joking. Someone actually ran with this as a news article. Now, I do believe this is a Dutch website. It did have to be translated using the Google page here. But then basically, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is Game Kings. This is Halo Infinite, part of E3 presentation of Xbox Leaked. Obviously, this translation might not be exact one to one, but you kind of get the idea here. A Halo Infinite trailer starts with Master Chief? According to the best man, Halo would get a trailer on the E3, which I think is pretty much already confirmed essentially. Not exactly that we have a trailer, but we know E3 will have Halo Infinite. Hilarious to think about this. Someone actually like ran with this as a news article and said, basically says, what do you think? Will the trailer really look like this at E3? Anyways, you will see it later on during E3. And I'm just like, I'm just really just like, I'm, I'm, I'm dumbfounded on this one. I'm like, really? Like, you really ran with this as an article, but you know what? It's some kind of form of content that you found that you can put a title on saying Halo Infinite Leaks. Much like I'm doing right now. I am my own worst enemy. So guys, those are just some tidbits right there. Just keep an eye out for some real actual leaks right now. Just, you know, if you see anybody saying anything about leaked information about Halo Infinite right now, I guarantee you they are lying. 343 has done an excellent job of keeping their lips pretty tight when it comes to Halo Infinite news and so has anyone else involved with that game. 
And so I would say that you would not really see much happening until maybe like the night before E3 we get some actual genuine leaks. You know, we are all very excited about this. Yes, I am very much as well. But you gotta keep it with the grain of salt when it comes to these information tidbits right here. But they, as soon as something like this pops up, it gets spread around like wildfire. And so just kind of keep your head on straight, guys. Read, you know, critically and, you know, keep your mind open. But also, like I said, think critically when it comes to this stuff. But if you guys, if you like this kind of information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know anyone see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are when it comes to these leaks at Halo Infinite or just moving forward, what your thoughts are just in leaks in general. I think rather credible or they're just kind of like, you know, people just fishing for reviews. And if you're new to the channel, want to update with anything Halo related when it comes to Halo Infinite, MCC, Halo 5, anything else in between there make sure to tap subscribe with the bell as well to keep you up to date with anything going on in the channel if you miss anything or new to the channel as well check out the videos on the screen right now i'll catch you on the next video peace out